guys. So, if you need to know how to rebuild a compression driver or a horn, this is what we're doing right here. This is a McLaren Tango. It is neodymium. And I'm not rebuilding, but this applies to rebuilding. And I'm going to show you guys just how easy this is. You got four screws on back of the compression driver. This is just a compression dryer. Once you put the like cone on the front of it, then people most likely they call that's what they call a horn. But I like to turn it to where the logo is facing me and red is on my left. You lift that up. You take the diaphragm out. And that's the diaphragm. It's huge. You can see the coil right here. There is nothing wrong with this one. This is brand new. But it's titanium. This is phallic. Myself, I want the phallic in there because they play a little lower. And by lower, I mean only like in the, the uh, I think they play under one kilohertz. So, you know, they might actually play somewhere. Oh, no, it's broken. Like out of the box. No, no, it's well. It's still connected, so I'm gonna try it. You gotta be sure you drop your cone in there. And you put that on. Okay, now it snapped down. And that ought to still work. I'm gonna put it back together and I'm gonna test it. But I didn't notice that was broken like straight out of the package. But there was four of these and the horns and everything else like all in a box and it didn't have a lot of padding in it but yeah this is pretty much it so if you guys just stick with me we're gonna do some testing after i get it bolted back together and we're just gonna make sure it works Because this already clamped down that uh, post over there fairly decent. And if not, I got that titanium one. But like I said, myself, I would rather have the phallic. Because the phallic will play, I think they start playing in like the 500 hertz range. Which horns play a lot lower than tweeters anyway. But, uh... They just sound so much crisper on vocals. And they don't play quite as high as a tweeter. So, let me see here. No stripe. We'll plug it in. And keep in mind, guys, these do not have the, the horns on the front of them. And we'll hit play. Tap or press one for more options. Uh, I, I, I didn't know exactly what this rustical is going to be like cause, because I bought, I, mo I bought a memory stick from you previously. Um, there, there's a few. So this thing is like way, way louder than this. So it's working. You know, I just kind of rebuilt that real quick to show you guys how easy it is to rebuild. And it's not hard at all. How many minutes have we been filming? All right, we've been filming four minutes, guys. So it took me like four minutes to change that diaphragm. And if you blow a compression driver from any reputable company, they'll have replacement diaphragms and you buy them and they look just like that. So that's like all it literally was to rebuild that. And then... You were with me for that. All I'm doing now is uh, getting it ready to put the, the horn on. So if you just hang tight for a sec. This whole process only takes like a few minutes. Just keep filming. Here I got a horn. My wife's my camera person today. 
so this is like the throw to this thing. Okay. Bam. That's pretty much it. You put your washers on. The base. And it kind of sucks that that terminal was cracked on the other one. And I mean, I might try to run it. I don't know. I'll probably honestly get a hold of McLaren and see if I can get another philolic one. I do know those things are pretty cheap. I think uh, the DS18 ones are pretty much the same thing. And if I remember correctly, they were... Uh, to just replace that, it was going to be like 12 bucks. But anyway, guys, that's all I have really got for this video. Peace out and base on.